Girl Scouts from Troop 5295 in Justin, Texas took earning their recycling badge very seriously. They challenged classmates to join their effort. Good job. The result, 5,000 plastic bags collected and ready to be recycled. We wanted to help our environment and make more bags and uh, reusing bags really helps the country. We did teamwork together and we made as many bags as we could. I earned this patch from getting a lots of bags. The troop leader quickly realized the volume of bags was too large to leave at a local grocery store. So she contacted bag manufacturer Hylex Poly. What do you do with this? Recycle. You can recycle this too. That's a great answer. Mark Daniel saw an opportunity to reward the troop and give them a memorable lesson on what happens to a bag once it heads to the recycling bin. And, you know, they called us and what can we do with them? You know, the easy answer would have been, well, you know, drop them off at our partner at Kroger. But we thought it would be so much better to educate these girls and the moms about exactly what happens when the material comes back. And it was delightful to have, you know, 15 girls come through here. They get to see something they, you know, I'm sure will remember for a really long time. And then they get to see exactly their bags being recycled into new bags. And, you know, they were really excited. Well, a lot of them didn't even know you could recycle plastic bags. They were shocked. I think it was cool for them to see how the life cycle of a plastic bag is, how they could be carrying a Kroger bag that's been recycled a hundred times. The girls saw firsthand how the bags they collected would be recycled to become future bags, and Hylex presented the troop with an award for their commitment to recycling education. We thank you girls so much for doing all you did, and we're happy that you came to visit us. That's going in my room. I'm just so proud that those girls uh, took the time to go out there, teach their classmates on how to recycle. Um, you know, and, it, and it's just if, if we can continue to educate the youth to get, and, and just grow this marketplace, employ more Americans in this recycling infrastructure, it's something that is really going to be beneficial to everybody around.